Hey, what's up, dude? It's Joshy J. In this game of dreams, desires, and life, it's you versus you. It's the man versus the man in the mirror. That's what it is. And the first thing is, is proving something to yourself. Because if you can't prove something to yourself, you will never believe it in eternity. So I'm going to aim to break all this down in this particular video. So in order to prove something to yourself, you need to sift through all the vines and all the things that are getting in the way of proving something that is true to yourself. And this requires a whole bunch of letting go. And it requires a whole bunch of letting go of things that are blinding you from knowing that something is completely true it's like internally intuitively we know a whole bunch of things are true to us and they ring so true to us yet we are so blinded by so many things that stand in our way so we have so many goals we have so many dreams we have so many things that are so important to us but the thing is there's just so many things in the way that are blinding us so they're stopping us from chasing all of these things or seeing the actual truth of the matter and this requires a whole bunch of letting go. So letting go, um, we need to let go of a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and there's going to come a day where you've let go of everything. And that's going to be a special day because that's the day that you're going to be 100% internally free. And when you're internally free, you can pretty much do absolutely anything you want. Because when you're internally free, you're not blinded by fear, you're not blinded by judgment, you're not blinded by jealousy, you're not blinded by your ego, you're not blinded by all of these things because you've let them go. You are internally free and being internally free is the truth. The truth is in you. You are the truth. That is, that is, that is it. You are the truth. And if you can't prove something to be truthful to yourself, you're never going to believe it. You're going to go your whole life never believing it. And I know a whole I I know it's it's a matter of fact that outward validation is some sort of compensation for something else that's going on. So if someone needs some sort of outward validation for something in their life, you know it's because they don't believe it internally. They don't believe it to be true internally. So that is that links back to the whole proving it to yourself thing. Because if you prove something to yourself, if you believe it at your core, like genuinely at your core, you believe it. You don't need any validation. Then you don't need any external validation. And it's not to say external is not important. External stuff is very important. But the truth lies inside. And the truth is your own validation of your own things that are important and until you believe that you're going to spend your whole time seeking an external validation that you will never get and this is the whole thing is that um, when you're proving something to yourself first you can you can do anything so i know jealousy is a big one and naval this one guy that i follow um he made an amazing uh, kind of way of getting through the whole jealousy factor and he said that like you know <clears throat> if you if you want if you were jealous of someone and you the only way that you could be that person is to do a 100% swap with them with all their fears all their desires everything that's going on in their brain all of that thing and if you are not willing to do a 100% swap completely then there's no point in being jealous because you can't just cherry pick from from each person what you want oh i want that person's this i want this from this person i want to be like this i want to be this from this person no that's you if you're not willing to do a 100% swap then there's no point in being jealous and then in that way you can just be happy being yourself and by the way that is fully in your control to be completely happy being yourself and when you're proving something to yourself first think about when you were a child when you were a kid you children are so beautiful in this way because they don't have any concept of all of these things they they don't need i mean when we get older we learn stuff we become smarter more intellectual 
we are exposed to more therefore exposed to more problems as well so so now when we get to this stage we (laughs) because we've learned so much we need to prove to ourselves why things ring so true because when you're a kid uh, just remember the kid that loved doing the thing that they just loved to do there was no other reason for it there was no reason there was no there was nothing else they didn't need validation outside they were just drawing because they just loved to draw that was all they did and there was no other reason for it that kid's state is the most beautiful state because that kid's state is you in your element in your exact here and now that is the most beautiful place to be in and especially in a creative industry it's so important being in the being in your kid state is the state that's going to pull you right into the here and now and ironically actually makes you more effective and when you prove it to yourself first you, then you once you prove something to yourself then you can help other people see the light as well because if you haven't proven it to yourself you can't be telling other people a whole bunch of stuff that you don't even believe that's false modesty that's like that's not going to help anyone and once you've proven it to yourself that's the core foundation that is the truth when you're starting with the truth then you can grow then you're stacking layers in your life you're stacking layers on top of each other but you got to start with yourself it has to it has to start with yourself when you prove it to yourself you can accomplish anything Thank you so much for sticking through, dudes. I hope you love the artwork in the background, and I will check you guys in the next one.